Hey everybody, it's Brittany Saturn. And I'm Brian Belcher. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Forest, Forest Life. Life. It's Saturday and I'm feeling great. I'm not feeling so great. I know. You look <laughs> like you're a sad panda. Nah, all these animals keep writing me letters I don't care about. You can read that one. It's just peaches talking about being peaches. Being peaches? Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't care. Wow. I don't care at all. You're a shitty mayor. I don't care about that either. Okay. Well, you want to change the town tune? <laughs> no. You don't want to change the town tune? I want to catch this firefly. Catch that firefly. You can't. Because it's June <clears throat> now. You can't take this life for yeah. me. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> I tried to figure I it out. I heard what you were doing over there. Yeah, yeah. Stop it right now. All right, so I have Let's a. Let's see for stuff. So I have a Sailor Moon one. Sailor That's Moon different one than what? what you have. A Sailor Moon uh, town tune theme. Okay. If you want to try that one out. But I also have Kansas. Kansas? Yes. What kind of Kansas? Carry on my wayward son. I don't see how that would fit. I don't need it either. I didn't <laughs> listen to it. We should try it though. Well, our lighthouse looks really good. Our lighthouse lit up. Looks good. That's awesome. None of the ships will crash into us now. It's about damn time. All those fucking ships just kept <laughs> crashing into us. Yep, they sure did. <laughs> We've been doing this for a, like almost like... A year? Uh, it's about a half a year now. Over half a year now. And oh gosh, no ships. Here. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll make my way over to the town hall. And Making my way downtown. <sighs> walking fast. God. Faces have, flashes to pass by. Don't have the energy <laughs> to deal with you today. <laughs> Got that wiggle bear butt. Hate it. Hey, also, oh yeah, what's here. Well, let me look up the art guide to see what's in town, what's in store for us. Art guide. ANCL. There we go. Alright, I don't even know what we have, what we don't have. <laughs> That's okay. Um, we, we have this guy. Yeah, we have that guy. We have this lady. Uh-huh. We have this one, too. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we ever got the right one. I don't think we, we, think we have one. this painting. What about this painting? Uh, I guess some people were Common painting? The, I'm pretty sure field. we have it, but that one is always genuine. I don't think we have this one. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Alright. I'm pretty sure we have the lady. So you know what I'm gonna do? Like tonight after this, I'm going to go in and I'm going to print out all of the stuff that you're supposed to have. Mm -hmm. And we're going to just highlight it Okay. as we get it. Because mm -hmm. I had a digital like spreadsheet, but you're over there with your phone like, that's too much. It is too much. I'm looking at so many things. we are going to have paper. Okay, cool. That's fine with me. How's that sound? That's fine with me. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why don't you buzzoid? <laughs> buzzoid? Buzzoid off? Yeah, buzzoid off. You know what? I'm not gonna. I don't appreciate that, but I'm gonna <laughs> stick around. Some good vice mayor. Mm -hmm. You're made up uh, roll. I'm a good don't, vice mayor. Don't poke me. I am. Alright, let's see. Is there anything you hope about today? Town tune. Alright, so here's the Sailor Moon one. Okay, what does this one sound like? I don't know. <laughs> okay. What so, kind of B is that? That's an E. It's a lowercase E. Know. So that one? I, I don't know. All the way to the bottom, I think. That is all the way to the bottom. No. Like, there's no other... Okay, then yes. What is that, A? A, but it's the big A. So it's the orange A. There you go. And then orange C. Or, yeah, there you go. That one? Uh, Yes. They look like they're even, but that's not even. Okay, and then, yeah. Uh, another one of those E's. And okay, a D. D. Perfect. And then a D down there. Nope. And a C. Uh-huh. And then down, and then a B. Uh-huh. Is this the same one that we... Yeah, but in a different octave, apparently. <laughs> and a D. All right. It is. Well, that's Shit, really that's, not, that's not the that's same. That's only okay. one Sailor Moon song, Brian. So let's do this one. This is the Kansas one. We can... We can so A? Yeah, little A. I don't, don't say little or big. I don't have little or big on here. Well, it's... We'll go by the colors. Okay. Okay. And 
MC. I'm surprised that they um, did that. They did what? Changed the the lowercase and uppercase letters. Yeah, no, it's a pain in the ass. That's that G didn't get fixed. You didn't get fixed, but there you're still hanging around. I sure am. <laughs> and then A. Yeah. Same A. And then D. I'm sure, this is riveting for. Everybody. I know. <laughs> Where's the sleepy guy? All the way at the bottom. There you go. What? That doesn't sound like anything. Yeah, it's it's a guitar riff. We'll just quit then. Hate it. Try again, bud. All right. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. We tried a thing. Didn't work. Well, shit. Another time. Another time, another time. Well, I'll tell you what does work. <laughs> national days. <laughs> Every fucking day, there's a national something day. And today is no exception. Oh, we get some coffee while you're chitter-chatting. You want to chitter-chat? Okay. Well, Brittany, this next one is going to be all about North Carolina. Because today is National Black Bear Day. And, (laughs) according to the North Carolinian black bear biologist Colleen Offenbuttle, yes, that's her name, (laughs) coastal North Carolina has the largest black bears on the planet. The current world record and previous world record came from the North uh, came from North Carolina. She also points out the northeastern part of the state also has the world's highest uh, black bear densities. In North Carolina, black bears have access to high-protein crops and enjoy mild winters, which is why there are so many black bears that and grow to be so enormous here. Big old black bears. Big old a, black bears. Have you seen, ever seen a black bear in the wild? No. I have come close to yeah. seeing one. I've heard black bears in the wild. We have a bunch of bears up in the mountains where I live. Yeah. Lived. Um, I never like saw one. But they were troublemakers. <laughs> I've heard them get in the trash and shit. As are most wild animals, just a bunch of troublemakers. <laughs> just a giant raccoon that can kill you. Much, yeah. You have to be careful. I don't know. Like, the biggest thing, I think, I mean, I can't say for sure. But, like, it's just some, like, common sense I had growing up was, like, if you're in the woods, tr- actually try to make a little bit of noise because if you sneak up on a wild animal like that, yeah. then they'll hurt you because they're scared, you know? Mm-hmm. But if you are making a bunch of noise, they'll hear you coming and they'll run away before you even encounter yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then obviously, like, when you're camping, you got to put up your food and stuff because they they want your food. You yeah, know? exactly. They want your can of Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> Give me them Pringles. Yeah. <laughs> So, God, now I want a can of Pringles. We have a can of Pringles. No, we don't. We have an empty can of Pringles. Why is there an empty can of Pringles in the cabinet, Brian? Because I because you're lazy. a monster. I didn't throw it away. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't know. There's like two <laughs> ki- chips in it. Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. I hate it. Well, that's not it. We got another Why national day ours? to celebrate. Today is National Rotisserie Chicken Day. What? <laughs> yep, rotisserie chicken is cooked whole on a rotisserie or spit that turns continuously over heat source, roasting it slowly. This type of cooking sears the skin to seal in the flavor, resulting in a tender and juicy chicken. Rotisserie chicken is often injected with a blend of seasonings to give or increase the flavor. The popularity of rotisserie chicken continues to grow as the health benefits of it become more widely known. And leftovers can be used in many ways, including salads, sandwiches, and casseroles. I love rotisserie chicken. I do as well. It's delicious. I love, like, food cooked on a fire. (laughs) Yeah. Like. Well, you know these aren't cooked on, like, an actual open flame. Some are, though. Well, the ones that you're getting aren't. No. Not the ones from, like, you know, the grocery store or anything. Yeah. No. Yeah. But still, I'm into it. Okay. Well, good. Good rotisserie chicken day. We should go get one. And then cook it again mm-hmm. on an open fire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just cook it over and over and over again until over it's over just again. a burnt char. Yeah, it'll be delicious. Delicious. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany. I've got something that you're going to really enjoy today. Okay. Today is National Rocky Road Day. 
Why would that? As in Rocky Road ice cream. There are many varieties, but traditionally Rocky Road ice cream is composed of chocolate ice cream, nuts, and marshmallows. There are variations with vanilla ice cream, chocolate chips, and almonds. I really hate Rocky Road ice cream, actually. I thought you liked Rocky Road no, ice cream. No, I hate Rocky Road. Oh, I learned something I every day. I never pick Rocky Road. When See? it's time to pick out, I'm always like, ugh, Rocky Road. So, this is one of those um, orange Gatorade situations. <laughs> Do you like Rocky Road? No, I hate Rocky oh, Road. Okay, yeah, I hate Rocky Road, too. So, when... You should it, tell the story of orange Gatorade. So, Brittany and I, when we first got together, we would just buy Gatorade, and I would be nice, and I would get Brittany some orange Gatorade. And sometimes, Brittany would be nice, and she would get me orange Gatorade. We both hate orange <laughs> Gatorade. <laughs> but the other person kept buying it, because yeah. we thought the other person liked it, so we assumed they liked it, so uh-huh. we were like, I guess we'll get an orange Gatorade. Yeah, so we just kept assuming <laughs> that the other person really liked orange Gatorade and we were being nice to each other. Yeah, and we just kept buying it. <laughs> and we kept buying it. And it never ever got drunk. And I think we just and finally what? were just like I think I finally just told you like, man, I hate orange Gatorade. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate orange Gatorade. <laughs> it's like, why do we keep buying this? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what happened and that is where we are right now with rocky road ice cream yeah but the difference it, is that we don't ever buy we it, never though. bought it but i would i i, I just assumed you liked you it you seemed i liked it yeah i'm not a big fan of chocolate ice cream though i eat it sometimes but you know that i know you make, I fun, make fun of fun me of for liking for chocolate, chocolate ice, cream. ice cream all the time but that doesn't mean you don't like it it's not my favorite okay so like, i don't ever pick it Every now and then I'll want, like, a chocolate, but it's very rare. I don't get that. <laughs> I just... I mean, I'm glad I am glad I know this, but... I just prefer, like, fruit flavors over chocolate flavors. See, I prefer, um, chocolate. I like, I like <laughs> sour things, so... I really don't. I'm all into, like, if they made, like, a Sour Patch Kids, like, ice cream, <laughs> I would be like, oh, all up in that. There was so. a Warheads, um... Warheads ice cream. Oh, really? See, yeah. like, I missed that. Like, I love Warheads. I used to eat them so much as a kid that my tongue would get burnt. They had a Warheads like push-up pop. It, it actually competed with the Flintstones one really? for a long time. That sounds amazing. It was actually pretty decent. You had it? Yeah. It was all it was sour sherbet. Yeah, that sounds really good. I love... Warheads were, like, my favorite candy, like, in the first grade. I think that's when they... I don't know if they came out then, but they were definitely very popular in my school then. I ate them. And so too- everybody would try to eat them without making a face. That yeah, was the exactly. challenge, you know. And I got pretty good at it. That's so. why I ate them, and I hated them so much. Mm-hmm. But uh, People would be like, you should try it. And I'm like, okay, yeah. And yeah. I would, yeah, but I'd go home and cry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Brian. I'm sorry you had a hard time growing you know, up with the Warheads. <laughs> you know what would be good for Warhead, though? What? Our next National Day, National what? Bubbly Day. Bubbly? Yes. Bubbly, or sparkling wine, reflects the excitement associated with memorable events. Uh, breakfast? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they have a mimosa. <laughs> exactly. I love breakfast. <laughs> The uh, effervescent bubbles combine with the appealing flavors and aromas ranging from citrus, apple, and pear to toasted fruit, spices, and nuts. Whether paired with a full meal or light appetizer, these wines satisfy the requirements for an unforgettable celebration. Mm, Okay. So, yeah. I know that Tanner always has. Our friend Tanner always always has champagne, so it doesn't really matter. What we're doing, there's champagne. There'll be champagne on this upcoming camping trip that we're going on. I am excited for champagne. I love champagne. (laughs) We gotta grab us a little bit of drinky drinks before we go. That's true. Can't forget to do that. That's right. Well, that's it for National Days, Brittany. That's it? That's it. But that's okay, because you know what? We're not done. Well... What else is there? There's birthdays. What? Not today. Totally. No. Someone was born today, I promise. I don't think so. And if you are one of those people, happy birthday. Happy birthday, you. Happy, if Brittany doesn't believe you exist, but happy birthday. It's your birthday. I don't even, 
She doesn't even believe in it. If it's your birthday, comment, because otherwise you're just a ghost to me. Just a ghost birthday. Just a ghost birthday. Well, these people aren't ghost birthdays, as these famous people are all still alive. (laughs) 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 Well, knock on wood. Uh, Today is also Zachary Quinto's birthday, who turns 41 years old, born in 1977. The actor best known for his role on the television series Heroes, but he was also cast as Spock in the 2009 Star Trek reboot. I need a hero, holding out for a hero. I actually watched that show. He was a good bad guy. Oh yeah, I remember you watching that show. It was like when we first got together. Yeah, I never got into it. It wasn't much to get into. But I, I remember seeing you watch it all the time. Um, that's not it, though. It's also Justin Long's birthday. He Justin turns Long? 40 years old today, born in 1978. And he became known for his roles in Dodgeball, A True Underdog Story, and Live Free or Die Hard. His roles in Alvin and the Chipmunks, Ed, and Accepted bolstered his fame. I used to watch the movie Accepted all the time. I like Accepted, actually. Yeah, that was funny. Uh, Lewis Black was funny in it. Yeah, yeah, I forgot Lewis Black was in that movie. Yeah, he's like the 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 one old person that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not it, because it's also Wayne Brady's birthday. Wayne Brady. Turning 46 years old today, born in 1972. The actors and singer best known for being an improvisational comedian on Whose Line Is It Anyway, he later hosted his own daytime talk show as well as the game shows Don't Forget the Lyrics and the 2009 revival of Let's Make a Deal. In 2017, he played Aaron Burr in the Chicago production of Hamilton, which I I kind of wish I could see that. So now all the uh, summer stuff's up here. Summer stuff with Rocket. I like this lamp. I got that Gracie lamp. How much is this Gracie lamp? 120,000 bells. That's a lot of bells. Sold! That's quite a price. (laughs) Well, our last birthday today is Marina Bakarin. I think that's how to pronounce her name. Uh, She turns 39 years old today. That's cute. Uh, born in 1979, the actress known for her series regular roles as Anna and V and Jessica Brody in Homeland and Inara in Firefly and Dr. Leslie Tompkins in Gotham. But she also appeared in the 2015 uh, film Spy and the 2016 and 2018 films Deadpool and Deadpool 2. Okay. So... That's it for the real people. Finally, though, if you've got Lucy the pig in your town, she likes cute, fancy, and orange things, but nothing modern. Are you trying to tell me that Lucy the pig is not real? She is in my heart, though. I don't think so. That's not it, though. We also <laughs> got Inkwell the octopus's birthday. Oh, there's two birthdays today? Two animal birthdays today. What? Uh, and Inkwell likes sporty, but no specific colors. And nothing cute or fancy. Hmm. So get him something sporty. So I have not been buying these little yeah, I noticed. in a while. I got another mannequin That's from Gracie. Nice. That we can use for Got a fortune stuff. inside. Oh, looks like you got uh, uh, the Varia suit present? pants. Well, that was the pin I was wearing. I guess they... Yeah, they wrap it up they for They wrap you. it up for me. So let's go ahead and get these... I got a lucky ticket. Lucky ticket. Lucky and uh, ticket. I guess after that, we'll go over to KK and yeah, let's get our go song for the day. Song. And then tomorrow, maybe I'll go up and do some rearranging in the yeah, that sounds museum. Good. What 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 mood are you in tonight? Would you uh, say? I'm tired. Me too. So lazy, I guess. Yeah, I guess lazy. Okay. I don't know. What else? You... <clears throat> we don't pick lazy very often. So okay, well let's do it. Yeah, I already had those pants. I already had those pants. Metroid pants. Samus pants. Samus pants. <laughs> That's why it's called Samus pants. So I have a really fancy hairpin that yeah, nice. doesn't really match what I'm wearing. Doesn't matter. Also, I'm barefoot, pretty. so I'm like, I'm You are all over the all place right now. With my gold shovel. Don't know what to do. All right, let's run over there to Club L O L. I'm gonna come to the club with my dirty ass dirt feet. Whoa, they just gonna let me in. You know I why? Because it's ran by animals. And you're the mayor. <laughs> and I'm the mayor. I'm the mayor. 
All right. All right, KK. Nobody's here tonight. Just me, KK. Yes, please. Uh, here's my mood. Oh, lazy. There you go. Well, All guys, right, let's see what thank he you plays again tonight. so much for hanging out with us. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, and have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Quick, quick.